What up, YouTubers? It's your boy, Nerdy Red 23 How are y'all doing out there? I'm here to talk about the legendary funk band, <clears throat> Funkadelic, releasing their eighth album, Tales of Kid Funkadelic, on September 21st, 1976. Happy 48th anniversary to this classic. This album is still funky, and I'm still listening to it. 48 years ago, and it's still a classic. So, yes, it was released... Of the year 1976, and it was their final album on the Westbound record label. The tracks were recorded during the same session as their first release for Warner Brothers Records, Hardcore Jollies, which was released a month later. Two tracks from Tales of Kid Funkadelic, the single Undisco Kid, and the party anthem Take Yo Dead Ass Home, have been staples in the band's live performances since the album's uh, 1976 release and can be heard on the 1977 Parliament Concert album Live P-Funk Earth Tour. The album opener, But to Butter's Suction, Suction Citation, Butter's Suction Citation, and the song um, Never Gonna Tell It were included in the band's live shows during the early 2000s, the song Let's Take It to the People has been sampled by a hip-hop band, A Tribe Called Quest, for the their song Everybody, I mean, Everything is Fair on their album, The Love, The Low End Theory. Low End Theory. <clears throat> this is definitely an amazing classic right here. Nobody could ever touch a classic like this right here. So you got all the amazing guesses on here. Of the album, Gary Scheider, R.I.P., Glenn Goins, Glenn Goins, and Michael Hampton, Bernie Worrell, and of course, Cordell Boogie Mawson, Calvin Simon, pretty much everybody, George Clinton, Ray Davis, Clarence Fuzzy Haskins, Grady Thomas, the whole entire Funkadelic crew, man, everyone. R.I.P. Calvin Simon. Sad that I can't believe he died two years ago. But this album will definitely live on forever, man. This is an amazing classic. So you got songs, of course. But to Butter Risk Citation. Butter Risk Citation. Let's Take It to the People. Undisco Kid. Take Your Dead Ass Home. And I'm Never Gonna Tell It. And of course, the title track, Tales of Kid Funkadelic. How do ya view you? How do we view ya? View you. How do we view you? Classic, man. Amazing record right here. Happy to have this in my collection, too. I'll show y'all the LP. Yep, it was their last on Westbound Records. But they still kept making records, but just on a different record label, which is Warner Brothers. Love this al album, man. Funkadelic will always be legendary. The P-Funk. You can never go wrong with the P-Funk. <clears throat> Classic forever. <clears throat> If you're a Funkadelic fan, you definitely got to have this classic in your collection. You have to have it in your collection. What is your favorite song off the album? Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment, follow your boy NerdyRed23. I'll definitely get back to y'all in the next video. God bless and stay safe, y'all. And if you definitely come across this record, definitely get a hold of it at your local record store or online. And bump it on your turn tables, y'all. I mean, on the real, definitely get a hold of this record and bump it. You won't regret it. It's the most funkiest, too. Funkadelic lives on forever. It will always be legendary. Legendary group forever. Especially playing the drums, the synthesizers, guitars. Everybody's legendary on the album, man. That's why I love funk. The peep funk right here. Parliament Funkadelic. So I'm giving a shout out to all of my... Fans out there, may God bless y'all who love, you know, funk music. Definitely bump Funkadelic on your turntables. 
to all of my peeps on YouTube. Peace, y'all.